with a breaking news alert. Thanks for joining us for Fox 17 News at 6. We open with breaking news tonight. In just the last few minutes, a jury has reached a not guilty verdict in the trial for a Grand Rapids police officer accused of careless discharge. Yeah, Fox 17's Doug Reardon joins us now with tonight's uh, verdict. Doug. That situation ended up doing, and we, didn't, we don't believe that um, those totality of the factors that we talked about um, what, what, what would be what a normal person would do or a sensible person would do, and that's why the, we made the decision to charge. You know, there, there was a lot of focus on the, the body camera video that showed this instance uh, play out back last year. Um, it was very difficult to see at some points exactly where Officer Bauer's finger was, whether it was on that trigger or off that trigger. Do you think better body camera video would have made a better case for you? Uh, you know, as you guys saw during the the. the the whole trial. I mean, I'm not a tech guy. I'm not uh, that savvy. I, I don't. I mean, obviously, we, I, I think we all want the the newest and best iPhone because it takes better pictures and so forth. So, in that sense, yeah, if we can, you know, if we had an opportunity to use better quality equipment, then I would always say yes. But I, I don't know if that is the best equipment that's out there in the market right now. I know that's what we have, and that's what we have to work with. Do you feel like, sorry, do you feel like the jury made the right decision today? I, I think the jury has, um, you know, I think they took their time. I think they were out for a, a little bit, and I, I think they heard the evidence and they made a determination. So, you know, I, I, I'm not going to second guess the jury. You know, there wasn't there wasn't a whole lot of focus in the trial uh, put on the fact that this was not even the right suspect that they were looking for. You know, do you think that maybe paying a little bit more attention to that might have changed the jury's mind? Why not the focus on that? Well, the charge again was the careless discharge of the weapon, okay, of causing property damage, um, and because of that, the the elements are: did he do something? To, remember those totality of, the, of circumstances that caused that gun to go off, right? So it wasn't about um, was Smith even the right person. So the judge had previously ruled that those type of factors could not come into uh, play and the jury would not get a chance to hear about them. And that was the court's decision. Yeah, and, and again, do you, were you, you must have been disappointed by that decision. Do you think it would have, would have maybe changed the jury's minds? Well, uh, again, I always feel that the jury should have all the information in front of them. Okay. But I also have to respect the court's decision, and if the court makes a decision that those, that information, that Mr. Smith was not the right person, that the car was a, a different model and so forth, that those didn't go into play because as far as Mr. Bauer knew, that was the right car, car and the suspect at that time. Thank you for that. Uh, and that was uh, Felix Tarango. He is the one of the uh, prosecutors that worked on this case. And uh, actually, give me a sec. Uh, Mr. Dodge, anything to say after this verdict? We appreciate the jury's attentiveness over the last two days. That was a perfect example of, of the beauty of our justice system there. When an, a mere allegation is made, we're looking for the, through the entire case, the evidence, expert testimony, because what was ultimately determined is that Officer Bauer did, did nothing inappropriate whatsoever on this occasion, and I'm just relieved for he and his family now that this is over with. So, yeah. Um, does Mr. Bauer have anything to say, sir? You know, the fact that, I mean, there still was a bullet fired, and it, did you guys have any conversations at all about the fact that, you know, of course, nobody was hurt, but what could have happened? I don't know. That would call for speculation in my regard. Are you asking what could have happened? Yeah, you know, I mean, do we still acknowledge that that something that this was still a dangerous situation out there that night, regardless of whether it was an accident or not? Well, it was certainly a dangerous situation for the police, what they were under the circumstances here. But I think the, the jury was able to parse through that and see that Officer Bauer did nothing negligent uh, on this occasion. So fortunately, in the court of law, that was determined. And, and Officer Bauer is, uh, was found not guilty appropriately. So we, we appreciate the, the two days of attentiveness by this jury here. Would you say that you guys question the legitimacy of the charge from the start? 
since this case was charged, yes. And can you elaborate why you guys felt that way, why this shouldn't have even gone this far? I, I, I'd rather not comment on that, okay, just out of respect for the opposing side. But, yes, it, it's unfortunate it had to come this far. But it, here we are. But fortunately, we have the jury system that we have, and, and they found uh, Officer Bauer not guilty. So that's all thank I have you. for right now. Thank you. Um, so, Adam, let's come on over here as we recap this. Um, great timing. Uh, we were able to hear first um, from, as I said, Felix Durango. He was the assistant Kent County prosecutor who prosecuted this case. And then just a second ago, that was attorney Mark Dodge who defended Officer Bauer. Uh, he was standing just off to Mark Dodge's left side. And we, uh, of course, asked if we could speak to him. Uh, that's just not something they're comfortable doing right now. Uh, but this was a very quick verdict that was returned here today. They got that uh, case. The jury did it about 445. And it was almost to the hour at 545 uh, that it was returned. And so a quick verdict, of course, a not guilty verdict. Just to recap some of the facts of this case, this was back on December 9th of 2021. Uh, police had gotten a tip about a stolen car at home over on Cass and Sycamore, right in the city. And when they went there, the person who they suspect was the suspect exited the house. His name is Davion Smith, the young guy. Uh, he was not the right person. That was not the right car. Uh, but as they were moving in on Davion Smith, uh, Officer Bauer says he tripped put his foot in the hole running down the sloped uh, part of the grass leading up to that house and fired his service weapon a glock 17 uh and so the really the whole uh, two days of this trial we're trying to figure out was he doing that negligently was there any carelessness was there any action taken there that would have put people in danger uh, contrary to safety or training that these officers have uh, we saw body camera video for the very first time in this incident prosecutors trying to figure out if his finger was on the trigger while he was running down that hill uh, of course whatever they were showing was not enough to convince the jury that there was negligence that there was carelessness officer bauer faced 90 days in jail and fines had he been found guilty but of course that was not the case here tonight now he will uh, we can only assume be placed back on the force he was placed on leave after this incident that is very common for things like this uh, in instances like this and so uh, that will be the next thing is, is what happens next for officer bauer how quickly will he be placed back on the force if that is something that he and the department decide Side to do. Uh, we'll continue to follow this in the days to come, guys, but we'll send it back to you in the studio for now.